Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to use custom formatting arrows and conditional formatting data bars in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have this market wise sales for current year and for previous year. And here I have taken the variance and the variance percentage. So you can see I have used in variance data bars. If the variance is negative, then it will display this data bar in red and for positive, it will display in green. So I have used this conditional formatting data bar and I have displayed variance percentage also. In the variance percentage, I have displayed this arrow. To display this arrow, I have used custom formatting. In this video, you will learn how to use data bars in conditional formatting and different arrows using custom formatting. So let's start. I'm going to add a new worksheet here and I will copy this data first and I will paste this data here. Let me remove the grid lines from the worksheet. So I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines. So the next column, I will take variance and variance percentage. We can do the same formatting just for the time being. And we can do the same border for the outline border. So I'll press Alt OE to open format cells and I'll go to the border. I'll check the same border. All right, so now I'll take the variance. So variance will be current year sale minus previous year sale. I'll press enter and just fill this down. This is the variance. I will change the format of this and I'll go to the number format. I will take this format. All right, now I will calculate the variance percentage. So to calculate the variance percentage, I'll take this variance divided by previous year sale and we will calculate the variance percentage in percentage so here should be the percentage like this all right now just select and change the outline once again okay now we will create first of all this data bar for variance to create this data bar, I will select this variance. Then I'll go to the home and conditional formatting. And here in the conditional formatting, you can see this data bar is available. Now I'll go to the gradient fill and I will select the second one, which is green data bar. So this green data bar will display green for positive numbers and red for negative numbers. It is indicating that this is the biggest negative number and this is the biggest positive number because data is in order. If you will sort the data, then it will display accordingly. Let's say I'm just sorting data here. So it would display like this or I will sort by this, then it will display like this. Now we will format the variance percentage. So variance percentage, we will display this arrow in this way. This is for the negative numbers. You can see and for zero, it should display like this. And for positive number, the arrow should display like this. I have created another worksheet here that is Unicare. So I have taken the multiple Unicare characters here. This is the Unicode. And here I have used Unicare formula. And these are the Unicodes for arrow symbols. All right. So you can see whatever arrow you want to take, you can take it. I have put Unicodes on this worksheet. So from here, let's say I have taken this one from here, this one, second, this one for green. All right. So what I will do, I'll copy this and this copy and I will paste here as value. I will copy the first one. Then I'll go to the seat four and here I will select this range. Then I will press Alt OE to open format cells window. And now here I'll go to the numbers. And then I will go to the custom here. I will put the custom format. Basically the logic of the custom formatting is first you will put the formatting for positive number. Then you will put a semicolon and after that you will put for the negative number. You will put another semicolon and then you will put for zero numbers and 
you can put another semicolon and then the last you will put for the text formatting so this is the rule of custom formatting so the rule is first is positive numbers then negative numbers then zero and then text all right so first we will put for the positive numbers positive numbers should be displayed so here in the square bracket we can put the color let's say i want to display this as green and then i can put my text what i want to display i want to display in the inverted comma i will put this arrow and then we will put how the number should display or you want to just display this arrow if you don't want to display the number then you can put simple semicolon but i want to display the number as well in percentage so i will put here zero percent if you want to display the number as decimal place also you can put 0, .0 percent but i want to take here only zero percent i will put a semicolon then for negative number we will not keep inverted comma is just for this arrow all right now i'll put a semicolon here and then for negative number i'll take color so color in a square bracket first and that will be red and now paste this symbol here we have already copied it and then the number formatting we will put zero percent i will put another semicolon now the time to show zero how do we want to display the zero for zero we will display the yellow color yellow close curly bracket and then arrow let's say for the time being i'm just putting this arrow and now number again number zero percent and you can put another semicolon for the text also but we don't want to show text here so just remove the semicolon and click on ok now you can see this arrow is available here and this is for yellow it is not visible properly and this green also very light green so we will make few certain changes here first of all we will change the arrow this arrow should not displayed here for the green we will take another arrow this one so i will copy this like just copy and select this press alt o e go to the custom format and here for the green one we will remove this arrow and paste this up arrow click on ok so you can see this is the up arrow this is the down arrow and this again the down arrow for the yellow we should take another arrow so we can check here what arrow we want to take we can take this arrow all right so just copy and paste a special value here then copy it from here go to the seat 4 select this range press alt o e and then for yellow one we can take this and just press enter so you can see our arrow has been changed now one thing we want to keep some space between number and arrow the second you can see this green color and the amber or yellow color is properly visible but this one is not properly visible so what we will do i will press alt o e first of all i will put few space let's say i'm putting five space here one two three four five and same thing here one two three four five and here also one two three four five now i'll click on ok you can see some space but arrow are not aligned so what i will do i'll select this range and then i will align this as left align and now i'll increase the indent from here so just click a couple of time on this button like this so now it is looking good now only thing is we need to change the color this green color and this yellow color to make more visible so what i will do i'll use the color code you can use the color code also rather than just putting simple red green or yellow you can put some color code also i'll show you how can you put the color code you can go to my website and from here you can go to the bba course formatting you can see this list is available 56 color index this is for the bba color index but it will work for custom formatting also so you can see for the green we can take either this number 51 43 or 10 so 10 is more visible and for amber we can take this 45 or 44 so i'll take this 45 let's say 10 and 45 red is properly visible otherwise you can take the color code 3 
so we will not take because red is proper so we'll take color code 10 for green color code 45 for amber all right so i'll go back to the excel i'll press alt o e here then in place of green i'll remove this green from here i'll put color 10 and in place of yellow i'll put here color 45 and just click on ok now you can see the number are properly visible if you want to make this bold then you can make it bold also so friends that is how you can use the custom formatting and this table can be used in your dashboard can make your dashboard more eye-catching i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching